I said, the cop could have been a bastard. All he said was, take some turps and a rag and clean all the way down, which he did. I said, and that was for bread and tea for us. I said, you talk about food, ice creams and this and that. I said, you never tasted them. I said, and as far as school lunches, I said, I was punished. Six and, and seven kinds. School. I said, they took my lunch away for the whole term. I said, my mother never knew it. I said, I never said it. Because she would have beat me twice as bad as they were doing it mentally. No lunch for the whole... And they knew. It was Board of Child Welfare then. I said, they'd come in the house. they check your report cards. You had to show the report card. God forbid you got a bad one. I said, they open up the icebox. they check that. they check the cabinets for food to see what you're doing with that paltry money. I said, my sister Mary was... A central convent to clean for nuns and churches. My brother Michael was sent to a CCC camp. I said, they didn't come home each night. Maybe once a month they were allowed to come home. I said, they weren't being punished. That was for the measly couple of bucks that the government gave. I said, so don't tell me about not having anything. Or not eating this or not having fancy clothes. I said, they were shit. Not having six types of ice cream in the right. freezer. I said, so don't tell me about food or what you could do without. Clean a floor. I said, the floor was from one wall to the other on your hands and knees. There was no mops. And my mother would say, honey, there's a black mop over there. I said, you didn't go up and clean that black mop. You started again and did the whole floor on your hands and knees. I said, did I have a curse? I said, no. I said, don't blame her. Don't blame her. But don't tell me about lack of, because it was lack of. Remember, the, the hot water pipe went through the one ceiling, down through the floor, down to the next apartment. And I see my own brother taking wiry brillo, I call it. He wasn't brillo. And I asked him one day, what are you doing? And he was putting it in, pushing it in all around the pipe. My brother Jim. He said, that keeps the rats can't climb up. It was all like wiry, I call it brillo, it wasn't brillo. That's been like a mesh, like a chicken wire. Shove it down. He said, that stops. Which I had never known in my life. That was life. Do I blame somebody for it? No. I said, I was 15, 16. I would never go by a boy. We were always taught that you got a baby from kissing. I said, the kids today, I look at them, I'd like to spit in their pusses. I said, especially fresh kids. I said, your own daughter, Anne Marie, can tell you to this day what I used to tell the both of them. When you think you're big enough, have your bag packed and be ready to walk out that door. And Anne Marie said it sitting at this table before she came. She said, I never forgot that man. I says, mouth. I says, you got many a, a swing. She didn't say a word. She remembers. I says, no. No. I said, don't tell me about it. Kids, fresh kids, right? I can't take them. I said, because I wasn't raised that way. No, they don't realize how lucky they have. And everybody was in the same boat. Everybody was in the same boat. They don't realize how lucky they have. That's it. Oh, she says, I don't know how. I said, that's the life you lived. And it was a good life. You knew you weren't in that bed at night and there was going to be nobody pounding your puss in for nothing. But don't tell me anything about it. Not having. I said there was money they when I was married and didn't have. Had a tea bag and saved it for the next cup of tea. So and she says, Well, Dad always made money. I said, Yeah, but she got older. He did. I says, When we got married, he was long showman. I said, If you go down, you go down with two nickels, one nickel to get down on the subway and the other nickel to get back and hope he was picked out of the crew. To earn the payback money. I said, hey, I've been there. Don't tell me about no money. I said, I've not been there. I said, so whatever you you might think or anybody else, I really don't care. I said, but people don't know what a depression is. A depression. I said, when it ain't there, it ain't there. I said, hey, you still make it. We all made it. Said, you know this. Life. You know this country never had a welfare system until the Second World War? Mm. I believe it. They survived for years without a welfare system until the Second World War. Mm. I believe it. A few bucks, I mean, 
That's when uh, that's when Roosevelt created the CCC and different welfare organizations. CCC is where my brother went, Michael. Yeah. But that's what I he did to help us. We must have been talking about jail or something. Something has come up there. In other words, we speak. I said, that's the only time in my family that anybody had anything to do with police or anything. There was none of that in the background. Nothing. I said, ah, ah. I said, the only reason I really know about my sister Mary was because in later years I heard how she said she had to. She was the oldest girl, in other words, go to the convent and clean. And she said, that's what I said to Gail. What do you mean they come home each night? They didn't come home each night. They couldn't. I said, my brother was, since that's where Michael learned flowers and plants and everything. Fought in the forest, CCC. Civilian Conservation Corps. There it was. He was sent there. Well, we come home maybe once a month or two, every two months. My sister Mary, the convent. I heard a lady years. I said, well, I know what happened. But then it wasn't for doing something bad. It was this way. Then they gave you the few bucks to pay that shit and rent. And it had to be shit and rent because when I was married, I was paying $35 a month. A steam, heat, and hot water. So what do you think those were cold water flat? How much do you think the rent's going to be in that? Went to school, I said, with galoshes and praise for rain. A teacher brought me a pair of shoes. I said, so when I hear you people talking about, well, I can't sit on this and I can't $120 shoes. $120 shoes. Dance shoes. Yeah. And she, I was surprised. She listened to the whole thing. The whole thing. I said, so I don't have to pay the, the, the people that can't afford. They're idiots. Asshole's, I said. I went with galoshes. And she knew what galoshes were. I said, don't tell me. I said, when I was in junior high school, I wasn't a kid where it wouldn't mean anything. They, they meant, they meant, did without. Not complaining about it now. I'm just get sick of hearing shit. This is nothing. Hundred dollars. What can you buy with that? It's just nothing. Yeah, I know it's nothing. It was a million dollars in my time. I said, and I listen to you people talking about, well, we went for pizza, or we went for this, and went for that. And I said, we had the deaf and dumb cousins. And you didn't open up your mouth either. In other words, it was a dinner time, and you knew what was there. Cheese. I can imagine what the two of us kids' heads. They have, well, I know what so I Oh, please say. don't take another role. Yeah. 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 No, I'm saying that's what went through your head. <laughs> please don't take another role. How did you talk to them? Right. You got people like my dad who sit on the couch. Yeah. Who work about four hours a day and bitch about no, but, but how the economy. Something with somebody stealing it, but, but something. So don't tell me about that. My two brothers and five sisters. None of us. My brother. Never forgot that. Couldn't believe it. The cop took a look at us. We looked at the cop. He was a good cop. Get a rag and search all the way down. Probably just went outside and said, couldn't find him. Yeah. I said, that's how much of a piece that he didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> Never did it again. Never heard of anything. That's what I said. It's unnecessary, I said, with those kind of backgrounds. Unnecessary. Not today, in this age. Today they want something for nothing. Oh, I guess there was thieves and stuff in those days, too. We just didn't happen to know them. 
lunch. I, I remember begging the listener not to tell Ma another lunch. But that's how cruel, basically, teachers were in those days. You were punished. So they know you, you had no food. They took away what you were getting. So there were some nice ones, like the one that bought you the shoes. It was a nice one that bought you the shoes. Yes, later on. So go show you how people, different people are. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, and you, you always sat down to a nice big plate of bread and butter. It wasn't butter, it was margarine, and it was the kind where you had to, it was like a... Add the yellow? Yeah. Yeah. So don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Why I never liked fish? It was because I had to take that hit that just to fill up that... Cod liver oil. Outside, I said, with it, you certainly didn't. Buy that 15 cent piece of ice. You had that thing outside the kitchen window. Please don't, don't tell me about being hungry or not being hungry. Or she don't want that. She will need that. That's some shit. She needs a fucking dish. It was up to me. Okay. That quieted her down. No, kill. That stopped her. You know. For ravens? Yeah. Money like a, like a. Don't talk to me. I said, we all survived. Yeah, look at Terry. There was no fats in my family. No fat people. <laughs> no room to be. <laughs> no. Then you shut up. Well, what did you do for amusement? I said, amusement. Well, when you were told your mother wants you upstairs, my brother. Jimmy, you always said it that way. Your mother wants you upstairs. I said, okay. <laughs> That's if you were skipping rope and the grounds were wet from after a little. That was a no-no. Because the rope then would hit you in the back of your clothes or your legs. Ooh. I said, Mary, when she started going with Sonny, Thomas Blanche married him. Your first radio. We had a big, big a radio, and on Saturday night it was either the witch's tale or something like that, but we had to have our baths and sit in quietly, and it used to come on, I think, at 9 o'clock. That was late. And if it took us until 9.30 for each one of us to be washed and clean and everything done, or if you were put up a stink or something, mm-hmm, we, you'd miss half of the program because Quietly, all done, ready for bed. And it was a mess. We the creek into a little. That was our amusement. We enjoyed it, though. But you people don't understand. They, they'd never fathom what they say or not. Could know. Oh, it could happen today. You don't know. I think the people would more rebel to them. I don't know. Yeah, because they're not used to it. They turn against them. Mm, I said everybody was in the same boat. They were good. I remember the toilet in the hall. It was between that family and our family. And they were and pigs. They used to go wild. I remember. Pigs! She used to go. She scrubbed that toilet. I said it was the toilet with the box up on top almost to the ceiling with its chain pole. I said, the bathtub, I remember that vividly, in the one house. I said, it used to be in the kitchen. 
and there was boards over it, so you use it like as a counter during the day. I said, you had to heat your water with the black stove, the cold stove. But up until the 60s and 70s, up until the 70s in New York, they were sharing bathrooms in apartments in New York. I know that. Today people say, share a bathroom? I was born 25. No, but I mean, you think about how recent, in the 70s, they were still sharing bathrooms. And I remember the first time your grandfather came to pick me up. Who was Nanny? Who was Nanny? Nanny was my mother. I say Nanny now. My mother and mother would sit down. And he talked to her. He was about 28. I was 18. He sat down. He knew it. Some reason now I don't know what it was. Maybe it was my mother. And he said, you know, he said, that spaghetti. How what are you gonna say? <laughs> he said, No, 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 you must have seen and heard by my facial. He said, No, 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 no. He said it was very good. I mean he ate the whole thing. <laughs> so he said, But it's the first time I ever ate spaghetti that had onions in it. And you know it's ironic. Today, almost every jar you buy yeah, has onions. Has onions. So when we do she cut to give it a different taste, she'd make it herself, you know, there's no jaws or anything. And she cut up onions, in other words, that gave it a little snappy taste. He says, No, no, he said it was very good. I said, Oh he said, the first, it was the first time I ever ate spaghetti. She said that <laughs> I was waiting. That's all he ever said. <laughs> you got the nerve, you're lucky you ate a place. <laughs> That was offered to you. Was Terry still there? Yeah, we were just growing up. I was what, 18 when I met him. I was married at 19. Where did you meet him? That's the kind of glory. I was with a girlfriend. And we were sitting down in the booth. And it was empty. You know, there's this guy sitting on the counter. They had the counter at the school. I can picture it right now. It was it was a two or three seats. And we ate all the chicken, you know. And all of a sudden, when the guy comes, we go to say, well, what we owe you. We knew, in other words, they, I think the egg sandwich was a quarter or something. He said, your bill has been paid. And <laughs> that to us was a, there's only one person sitting at that counter, bullshitting with the guy behind the counter. That was him. And he just said, huh? <laughs> Stupid kids. Yeah, he paid me. So now you just stand there for a few minutes and talk, you know. And there's you where you live. What's your name? Was your name Hannah or Ann? Ann. <laughs> when did you get a change? Huh? When did I you get a change with Social Security? Yeah, but how old were you? Oh, I was already married. Oh, so it was still Hannah? Yeah, but I always used Ann. Yeah. I changed with Social Security. To make sure they couldn't ever do anything later on in life. So he thought you were, your, your name was Ann, but it was really Hannah. And then when he called you? Yeah, he came up. Oh, yeah, there was no phones. No phones. 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 But they 
And they all have onions today. Over the years, it goes to show you onions. But it shows you how somebody could do it a trillion years ago. Normal today. Now it's a common thing. I thought at first he was going to insult that. If he was Steve, he would have said it was good, but. No, no. That would have been the end. That would have been. You go your way, I go mine. <laughs> no. You know, they tell you when you're not that friend in that nice restaurant. Ratzgauer, it's called. It's a German, Dutchman. And it was, of course, that was an expensive restaurant. I don't know, today it wouldn't be considered. Who noticed it? I knew it went and went right into the middle. <laughs> he just looked at me. Yeah. I didn't say a word. The waiter, she complied. Oh, well. <laughs> Embarrassing? Very, very. Very. But hey, you look good. For years, I listened to that piece of chicken that hit the middle of the dining room floor. And it was tired for, you know. Did anybody fine. notice you? But wait, there's other people there. I don't know. I wasn't looking at anybody. I didn't want to look at anybody. I wanted to act like it wasn't me. It was me. The whole piece? The whole piece. I don't know how I did that. Whatever. I must have picked it up, made me nervous, and, and it slipped. What did the waiter do? And the waiter? He just picked it up and looked up. I don't know. I don't know. I've never questioned it. He must have looked at your plate and said, Ah, she did it. <laughs> Doesn't like the food here. He must have thought you don't like the food here. And I remember the one time we were walking down the street. Um, I was embarrassed. And really, I shouldn't have been. Because I was the innocent boy walking behind this other couple. Underpants I, fell I, off? I couldn't believe the elastic or whatever must have went. And she must have known the party when you walk into the city with a guy. You ever think you see something that but y'all seen it? Because she must have had a skirt. I credit. Didn't know it was a madam. She just went, as I said, she was maybe that wall there. We were about here. Look, she stepped out of them with such decor. I wish they'd me. I would have tripped over there and say, well, mine. But she just kept going. She must have been wearing a skirt. It just went down. Yeah. I didn't say a word. I know he's seen it too, but I didn't say a word. Wow. I was embarrassed at the woman. And she carried that off. I could never have done it. But she just kept stepped right out. Out of them. And walked the pants while they were there. She was already gone. So I mean... Certain things she just remember me say, how the hell did she pull off something like that? She did. But hey, life is funny. Some of the things you remember eight, eight million years later. Mmm. But Gail, she never believed what I talked about. No food. No shoes. Who was no that? nothing. Who was that woman that hit you with the purse? Oh, that's when I lived in 509. You had Ricky, right? District, of course, you speak to my mother. My mother lived in 506. But that was with Ricky. He had Ricky at the time. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. And she had, who would think that somebody would have a glass ashtray? 
she did that spitefully. Oh, she knew she'd she was cut me. That, that was the end. I ended up on the street with her and talked to her, and the sanitation men all stood there, and <laughs> two women fighting on the ground. And then the husband had a pen knife he opened. My grandfather said, <laughs> he grabbed that one for him. He was going to jab me with it. That was all because that woman, uh... Saxton, what's her name? The one that she didn't like the noise you made or something, the right, baby. Right, right, right. And she took her ass to court for him so he would lose the day's pay. The judge blasted her. She's gone. She, the fire escape is at the bedroom window and she's crying and crying and crying to make sure. He was up. You were up. Spike, it was all Spike. She was a nut. She was one of those nuts. She yeah. didn't like me. He said the husband was nice. Yes. My sister Mary had gone to school with the husband, but the wife was, well, I guess, like Phyllis. And that, she just didn't like me. She told the neighbor downstairs, and the neighbor down there, she says, oh, but they're very nice people. But she, she just, I was her nemesis. <laughs> Take a hammer and bang on the fire escape. When he finally fell asleep. So, in other words, you'll get your ass up now. Bang on the pipe. The radiator. Did you say she did it with the the broom? And her whole ceiling was falling? In the kitchen. In the kitchen. It was all falling down. Yeah, because of her. She didn't like me. The maintenance man. It was me. Not him. Me. And the maintenance man came. Yeah. He said that the whole ceiling, he had to put metal or something? The metal ceiling in there. They know how that came. You can't break the ceiling. You could see if I broke it. Well, it's from the nut, in other words. Bing, bing, bing. But the broom marks. A nut. I mean, a nut. She just didn't like me. So despite me, she took him to court. And I told the judge, a vaporizer. Baby was sick, I run the rape provisor. That bothered her. Why? I don't know. We didn't dance over her head. So did she say the vaporizer? A hum? Huh? What did she say the noise was? Sounded like a hum? I don't know. So we were making a lot of noise and everything. The woman across in the next apartment, the, uh, what was her name? Marie Emily? She was Spanish lady, very pleasant. When my refrigerator went, they threw over a line and threw it back. So it was an alley in between us. And in other words, she'd say to me, put the baby's milk in here, and she'd put it in her refrigerator. I mean, I had no enemies except that one. She hated me. Why she picked me, I don't know. I don't know. She didn't like me. Everybody else liked me. But not her. Ooh. A nut. A real nut. Well, what made her go downstairs with you? The noise. She said, come downstairs. Well, I'm not going to back up. If you want me to come down, I'll come down. I went down, just... She had a purse, and to me, I never dream. And she swung the purse. And she cut me. She threw blood. Then I went at her. Otherwise, I wasn't going to put my hands on her. Think, what, are you, what are you fighting with me for? I did nothing to you. We ended up out in the street. Garbage trucks were picking up the garbage. <laughs> they all stopped. We all. Oh. After that, she brought him to court. <laughs> so he'd lose a day's pay. And I said that. I said, she only brought him. So he'd lose his day's pay. And that's what she's doing. Judge blasted her. She didn't win. What'd you bring in the court for? In other words, to complain about him, but she did it purposely so he would lose a day's pay. She knew he worked days. To go to court. You had to go to court. Mm. But she hated me. I think, I don't know. I don't know what I ever did to her. Nothing as far as I could ever sense. And Mary, when I pointed them out, because Mary didn't live in the street, she was the street. She says, she, she talked to him. She knew. She said, I don't understand. He went to school with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it was the wife. She 
she was, I guess, erratic. You think about it today, she's erratic. She just, I was the one that she picked. She didn't like me. <laughs> Look who I'm saying. Well, I don't know how she liked the people that we sold the apartment furnishings and all. Uh, uh, was it a condo? Like, no, it wasn't a condo. It was an apartment. Yeah, but you can't sell an apartment. Oh, we did. Your father did. Your grandfather did. It must have been a condo then. No, it wasn't. It was an apartment building. In other words, and I, there was people, but they never would allow to move into some of these apartments. You know what I mean? White, you know. I lived there a few years, and couldn't, I couldn't take anymore. So this one was driving me up a, up a rat. And anyhow, he found somebody that really wanted an apartment, a family. Oh, boy. They brought they had the furnishings. And they bought the refrigerator. It was my refrigerator. Mine went down. You wait a long time for them to put another one there. And as I said, the woman across the road used to pass on the line, you know, the milk. And uh, as I said, I got her wrong. I just, she didn't like me. Did they ever talk about the voting and stuff then? Voting? Yeah. No. Did they ever talk about politics? No. I never talked to the woman. I didn't know her. No, no, I don't mean her. I mean in general. No. What about Nixon and all of them? Did you ever mention that? Nixon? He wasn't in power then. No, no, but I mean later on in life. Didn't you have and your sisters or did I ever talk about politics or the president or... No, I told you I moved away from him for years. I... Surprised they never, huh? never talked about politics or anything. I didn't see any of them for years. For years, I lived completely different. Moved down here to Florida. And that was it. Like I said, Michael thought I was dead. They were always in each other's pockets, and I wasn't one to be in pockets. Who? My whole family. What do you mean? In other words, my mother lived in 506. Uh, Elizabeth, Johnny Ward, her husband and kids, lived in 514 on that side. I lived in 509. Uh, Terry... She lived up a little bit, around the, up a few blocks from us, but they were all basically in each other's pockets. When I was younger, yeah, but as I got older, married, and, in other words, they were still in their pockets. They still, in other words, all lived around each other. I thought you meant in their pockets and their money. Well, no, 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 I don't mean that. I mean it in the sense of, uh, I live on the street, you live the next one down over there. You know, always, they always basically clicked together. Oh, Jimmy and Dorothy lived over my mother in 506. So they were all in the same neighborhood. I moved out. I was the first one I moved out of the neighborhood. My mother moved out of that neighborhood and moved up to 27 Clifton Park Reservoir. It's funny how I can remember. Long ago version. What happened? She lived up there in the ground floor apartment, and then Libby Sarah lived there with Jeff in a different apartment, the big building, double building. And then Libby and Johnny lived on in that building too. As I said, it's like two buildings. And then Michael and Ann, his wife, lived in that building, and Mary lived in the building. They were always yeah. They stayed around each other. Yeah. They celebrate holidays and, and everything? Terry and Sonny lived up two blocks Webb Avenue. I lived in Bainbridge Avenue. I mean, I could go over there, and I would go over there sometimes, but I lived in a different neighborhood. How can we separate from them? I don't know. That was... I don't know. No idea why. Sarah and Terry... Was your mother gone already? Yes. My mother then died. 
And that's when you moved away? come up to visit, then we got rid of the house, and I moved over to uh, University Back Avenue, home. Yeah, University Avenue, and then a couple years later, bought the house in Opacon. I was the one that was doing the movements away. Sarah and Terry were like glue, like glue. Mary used to hang with them. Elizabeth was basically a loner, too, as far as that. I mean, she lives on the same street and all, but uh, she wasn't like their clique. I wasn't like their clique. What can I tell you? Life in the big city. Grow up in New York. Move to New Jersey. <laughs> Move to the island. Move to New Jersey. I mean, Terry and I, out of that whole family, would I know the rest of them if I met them on the street? No. <clears throat> but hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> they say you can never go back. And it's very true. You can't. You can't. But only... One time Terry was talking and she she said, I remember, she said, I remember your life, I remember mine. Didn't have too much. I said, uh-huh, uh-huh. Everybody was trying to survive. <clears throat> I'm happy she did better, you know, at the end she, yeah, she she's did, got something. Yeah, she I was very glad that she did, in other words, as far as the... It was a little late, but... Yeah. Well, he paid well for that. Huh? He paid well for that. Who, Sonny? Yeah. That's what I said. Didn't get it for free. Mm -hmm. But we laugh sometimes. She says, I know your life and you know mine. I said, uh-huh. Uh-huh. You certainly did. What else did Gail say? Nothing. This morning the baby came, and then she says, I'll call you once I get settled. I said, yeah, 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 fine. 